this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy bookshelf for your kids bunk beds or regular beds. Um, we were having issues the kids leave a lot of books in their bed as you can see and I wanted somewhere for them to put them along the wall so that I could change their sheets out easily. And here's the wood it's based off the Anna White plan I will link it in the description so make sure to head over there and get all of the cuts. Um, Here's enough for two, um, and I'm going to start building. Okay, so as you can see, I have my, well, first of all, I'm using my um, backdrop that I had in my sewing room. It is a little bit too big for my current sewing room. We moved, the room's a little bit small, so I'm cutting this down to be a little bit smaller. I may, uh, I may keep it here, but I stole some boards off from it. So all of the boards that I'm using for this main section are the ones that are painted and stained. They're actually kind of a mess because I stain them all together. So some sides aren't stained or painted, but that's what it is. So, so this is how we're going to attach them. I'm actually going to adjust the shelf height here. Okay, so I started by pre-drilling the holes. I haven't pre-drilled the holes for this one, but I'm going to put the bottom shelf on first. And I am going to use some wood glue um, before I screw it in. Okay, so this is the main frame. So we have our middle shelf, our bottom shelf, our two sides all attached. And actually I used shorter than two inch screws um, because that's what I had. And um, here's a board behind it. This should brace the shelf. As you can see, there's a little bit of a um, gap here. And the reason for that is because this is bowed a little. I'm hoping it'll just go down over time. I wasn't too stressed about it. Um, there will be a lot of weight on this, so I anticipate it'll it'll work itself out. Um, there's a piece in the back to brace and um, to hang it to the wall. So we've got two more pieces here <clears throat> that we're going to attach. Those, this is like the real reason for the wood glue. So we have our thicker piece. This is a one by three that'll go up here. That'll help keep the books from falling out. And then we have one piece at the bottom and that is to keep stuff from the bottom on the bottom shelf from falling out and we've got to attach those using finishing nails and uh, obviously our glue as well okay so I got both um, both pieces done and so what I've got to do is I'm gonna glue these down and then attach them using my nail gun there um, the one thing I did with this this one that I didn't do with this one is I Got a couple scrap pieces and cut them to size, and I'll be able to add a little bit of trim to this. It might look nice. Um, we'll see. I'll do both um, and see if anyone prefers one or the other. You can do whichever. This should work just as well, though, as a shelf. So, again, we're going to apply the wood glue to the back so that it'll stay on, and then we're going to put our finishing nails. So once you're done that, all you have to do is spray paint it and let it dry. You want to make sure to get all the nooks and crannies, and here's what you have. I added some vinyl. It doesn't look very good. I may have to redo it, but this works fine for now. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and see more information about this project on DIYDanielle.com.